Can an old school keyboard be just what you need to make your tablet work better? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here and I want to talk about keyboards. Now, you might be talking to your computer. You might actually spend a lot of time dictating and actually using your voice. Very cool. Touch screens, track pads, there's all these other ways to enter information. But at the end of the day, the vast majority of computer users are still using their keyboard. Now, the problem is, is that computers have gotten smaller and they've gotten multi-function, two-in-ones, three-in-ones, I don't know, nine-in-ones, and those keyboards tend to be on the losing end of that adventure. So there are a lot of computers like the Microsoft Surface or its many similar systems out in the market, and their keyboards are like that thick and they're also designed to be a cover for a tablet, just like this HP. Here is the keyboard, it's actually underneath the cover. That's kind of crazy. But the thing is, is that I don't really like using those keyboards. I'm an old school guy and I like an old school keyboard. So when Cherry actually sent me what they call their MX Silent, that's this guy, I thought, well, this will be interesting. It's kind of big. It's kind of an old school hardwired USB keyboard with the function areas and everything. And I thought, I'll give it a try. And not only that, I thought, I'll give it a try with one of my most modern systems. So this is my HP, and you know, it's designed to be super small, but what if I want to use a big keyboard? Luckily, it has a single USB connection. Now, you want to talk retro, Cherry includes a PS2 adapter. You probably don't even know what a PS2 adapter is, so probably you don't need it. <laughs> But this is a straight USB keyboard. This is something you could plug into a 1990s 90s era computer. It would work great. Now, this is actually based on their super popular, let me get the name right, G83000. And Cherry has not only been making keyboards forever, but they make the mechanisms that other keyboard companies use. So they're really, really good at this. The thing of it is, is that after all these years of using smaller keyboards, this feels really big. But, you know, you can certainly type fast, you know, is it quieter? Well, it's quieter in the sense that as a mechanical keyboard, it's not loud. But there's still, there's a physical mechanism going on here. And so there's only so much quiet they can do. Now, you can imagine if you're in a big room with 40 other people using keyboards like this, it's not going to be quiet. There's still going to be lots of clicking going on. But it is quieter. Maybe that's the way to phrase it. Now, let me tell you some of the things about this keyboard. First one is they have what they call N key rollover, which is super handy because you can press 14 keys at once and it'll get all of them. In testing, most people see somewhere between six and 10 keys. There's actually an N key rollover test you can download from Microsoft. I don't know why you would need this, honestly. Last time I've tried to hit like seven keys at the same time, it was because I accidentally leaned on the keyboard. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that functionality is all about. Um, they have gold contacts, um, what they call the gold cross point contact technology. You know, these guys, their layout might not be sexy, but the keys themselves, Cherry really knows how to make a keyboard that's going to last for like the next hundred years. And this really shows it. Now, the funny thing is, is that they make the MX Silent in two colors. And the difference between the keyboards is actually how much force you have to exert to get the key to register. And I, I just love these sort of geeky science things. So the red one, you have to exert 45 centinewtons. Whereas this black one, you have to exert a crazy, huge 60 centinewtons. What's a centinewton? I have absolutely no idea. But what I will say is that this keyboard's pretty sweet. It's a pretty nice feel to it. And, you know, once I sort of reminded my fingers what it's like to be on a real keyboard after years and years of laptops and all these other things, then I can go really fast. This is a really fast keyboard. Comes with a big, long 68-inch cord, and this cord basically is a cord. You know, it's not, nothing like fancy braided. It's not made out of Kevlar. You know, 
the company just makes straight ahead gear. And while we're talking about this, let me give you an overview of the actual keys. And you can see this really is a traditional keyboard layout with different function areas. It's like, you know, again, it's like the original IBM PC keyboard or something. Although it's not beige, it's black. So there is that. Um, but this is a classic keyboard. It doesn't have any of the cool stuff that you've come to expect on high-end keyboards. There's no additional USB plugs. There's no lightning dock to put your phone on to charge. You know, there's no programmable keys because it comes with a really cool software driver. There's no backlighting or illumination or rainbow colors going along behind the keys because it's a gamer keyboard. It's really not. This is just your straight ahead keyboard that's going to work forever and is going to help you type quickly and accurately. Now, having said that, it's pretty expensive. I look at the keyboard like this and I think it's nice and it definitely feels like a keyboard that's going to last a long time, but Cherry wants 149 bucks for this. Now, the good news is you can find it on Amazon for just a smidge more than 110 bucks. So you can go to amazon.com and look for the Cherry MX Silent, but even at the $118 on Amazon, that's a lot of money for an old school keyboard. I'm kind of surprised they priced it up there, but it is, if I may say so, kind of a cherry of a keyboard. <laughs> Ooh, I know I had to go there. And speaking of bad puns, can I ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button? Cool, thank you. Now, so 118 bucks on Amazon for this Cherry MX Silent keyboard. Is it worth it? That's a hard one to say. I gotta say, for most people, I will think that there are other less expensive alternatives out there. And I know for me, I rarely use an external keyboard in any system that I use. And when I do, I often wanna have one that's Bluetooth because seriously, cords, wires, this feels so like 1997. So I'll let you decide for your own use, but it is if you need a wired keyboard, if you need something that's great for data entry or the typing pool, speaking of 1980s, um, this is a rock solid keyboard and it has a really nice feel to it and it's not quite as clackety as a lot of other keyboards. So all of those are factors you should consider. This is Dave Taylor, I'm getting back to my next novel and I'll catch you in my next video.